Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Dragon Tiger Gaming. My name is Ran. Hi, how's it going? Hello! <laughs> um, long time no see. It's been a while. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at some Animal Crossing amiibo cards. Now, for those that know me, you probably know I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. Um, huge fan of Nintendo in general, actually, to be honest. Um, you know, I've been playing Nintendo... Nintendo games pretty much since the age of four, actually. Um, that's when we got our first NES system. Um, yeah, I've been an avid fan ever since, um, but especially with Animal Crossing. Um, ever since the first game on the GameCube. Yeah, um, crikey, I don't even know what year that was. It must be an early 2000s, um, late 90s. Um, I actually got the first Animal Crossing game um, via import. Um, it was actually a North American copy. You had to have like a special disc to put in beforehand um, in, 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 in order to play um, uh, import discs. But yeah, I mean, as soon as I kind of heard of the game and kind of um, heard what it was about and saw a few pictures, I knew I had to play it and I was not disappointed. Um, I've been a big fan ever since. Um, uh, so yeah, we're going to kind of look at a few um, few cards. This is Series 1. Um, I've actually completed Series 1. I'm still in the process of completing Series 2. Um, so yeah, hopefully there'll be another video once that one's done. But first, before we do anything, I feel there is a, an apology in order. Now, the last um, video I uploaded was the beginning of December, I believe. Um, you know, in, in said video, I promised that I would have some more content up within the next couple of days. Um, you know, obviously, I am terrible with promises, and that never materialised, and I am so sorry for that. You know, um, with regards to, like, working full-time around that period, and um, unfortunately there were things going on in life that kind of put things on hold for a little while you know I, I am really sorry um, I obviously should not make promises because I can't keep them but um, you know it's a new year new beginnings and all that so yeah hopefully we'll be able to get the um, ball rolling again very soon I've got a lot of plans for this channel uh, a lot of things I'd love to do uh, I'd just like to thank all you guys for kind of sticking with us um, because despite the inactivity uh, I know Dragon's been uploading a few things here and there but despite um you know, not having much content, we've somehow managed to get up to 11 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. You know, I'm really grateful to you guys for kind of having faith in us, and I really hope we can kind of um, deliver <laughs> and um, give you a channel worth watching. So I have got a few shout outs I'd like to do. Um, so Butter Plays Minecraft, thank you so much for joining us. I apologize for the delay and, um, you know, acknowledging your awesomeness. But yeah, thank you so much, Butter Plays Minecraft. Um, Roy Vales, I think it's Roy Vales. Uh, Vales? Oh yeah. I apologise if I... I apologise if I pronounce that incorrectly. Um, you know, it's going to take a while for me to get back into kind of, um... Warming my voice up and... Um, pronunciating my words. But yeah, Roy, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Frederick Starks. Thank you so much, Frederick. You're awesome. Um, ooh. Cat Anonymous. Cat, um, thank you so much. I'm guessing Anonymous is not your last name. Although it'd be pretty awesome if it was, wouldn't it? <laughs> you could kind of um, mess around with quite a few people. Um, Kat, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, Lev450. I'm guessing it's Lev or Leave. Lev, thank you so much. Um, and our newest subscriber, Jonathan Glass. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Like I said, you know, I'm really grateful to you guys. Um, if you have any kind of um, criticisms or comments or queries or... Uh, suggestions of what you'd like to see on the channel anything you'd like to see more of anything you'd like to see less of anything you'd like us to introduce you know please do let us know um of course i'll put the, the links and stuff in the description below and um or you can also kind of um comment on the, or the videos themselves um we will make sure to get back to you um but yeah you know we want to make this a channel um that you enjoy watching so anything you'd like to kind of see us add or or do you know please do feel free to let us know Alright, so I mean, um, where do I start? Um, yeah, I've, I've already said I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't played the, the, um, the latest two games. Um, that is um, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, and that's for the 3DS, and also um, Amiibo Festival, which is on the Wii U. Now, there's no real particular reason for that, it's just um, I don't have a 3DS at the moment, and I don't have a Wii U, so... <laughs> Um, that kind of renders these cards kind of pointless because, um, of course, amiibo cards, they have um, built-in functionality, so they do, you can use them to um, um, get further content in the games, um, unlock new villagers to um, kind of play with and such. 
Um, but you know, I mean, I've been a big fan of trading cards, um, collecting trading cards pretty much my whole life. So this was pretty much perfect. Um, I did try and refrain from collecting these, first of all. Um, you know, there is, um, there is one thing to be said about these, it's, it's an investment. Um, it's going to cost you quite a lot to get them, to get a whole series. And of course, it's got, there are four series planned, so that's um, uh, 400 cards, not including kind of promos and stuff, so yeah, it can work out quite expensive. Um, you know, it's just, just part of the part and parcel of being a collector, really. Um, but yeah, I did kind of, um, I caved in, and um, I have actually completed series one. Um, I'm, I've almost completed series two, uh, so we'll, there will be another video at some point. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to go through series one, um, just kind of showcase them a little bit. Um, if there's anyone kind of um, curious about them or kind of maybe looking to, to start a collection, hopefully I'll be able to give you a few um, pointers, tips and tricks and stuff, and which cards to look out for. Um, again, I'm no real expert. Um, I can only go off my my own personal experiences. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll kind of um, enjoy this video, uh, even if you just like looking at kind of um, cute fluffy animals, you know. I hope this kind of works for you. Um, okay, so I'll start with the binder itself. Um, you know, it's just pretty, pretty quality. Um, it's very sturdy kind of cardboard, so you know it's going to kind of keep your uh, keep your cards in pristine condition. Um, there is one thing I should that should be said. Um, they, they can be a bit stiff to begin with. Um, you know, after a few kind of look, um, kind of scrolls through and stuff, it does kind of loosen up. Um, when you first get it, sometimes these these um, these pages will kind of ping back a little bit. Um, but yeah, once they're kind of nice and um, broken in worn in then it shouldn't be a problem at all um, okay so on the first um, I keep saying um I'm sorry uh, it's gonna take a while to kind of get back into the flow of things uh, I should also apologize for the state of my hands they're gross aren't they they're like old man's hands <laughs> but you know the good thing about these videos is you don't have to look at my ugly face so that's always a bonus <laughs> um, but yeah and then uh, kind of from front cover of um, so far in both series you have like a checklist uh, you've got pictures, small pictures of each of the cards you can collect in the series. Um, there are a hundred in each series, as I've, as I've said. And yeah, it's, it's quite nice to kind of, um, you know, just keep keep track of which ones you have got, which ones you haven't got. I mean, me personally, I'm I'm a very pedantic collector. I um I like to keep everything nice and neat and tidy and pristine. Um, so I wouldn't personally kind of um, use this as a checklist, like um, draw on it and stuff. But you know, hey, to each your own. You know, if that's what you want to do, then. More power to you. Um, yeah, I'm one of those really annoying collectors that kind of keeps toys in boxes and kind of cringes and groans if someone starts ripping one open. You know, <laughs> no. Uh, and I mean, if you're going to collect well, if you're going to collect, then collect well. Um, there are actually a few kind of promo cards and stuff which I'll show you along the way um, that are probably worth picking up if you're going to kind of. Um, uh, you know, collect everything there is to collect. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of go through each page individually. Um, again, I apologise for my voice. Um, I'm trying to um, keep it a bit, um, keep it in tune by uh, drinking a bit of warm tea every now and again. Um, okay, so the first 17 cards you're going to get are basically um, special cards. Uh, now they are the kind of main, main characters of the the Animal Crossing games. Um, so you've got people like Isabel, uh, Tom Nook, KK Slider, of course, um, a lot of the shopkeepers and the traders in-game. Um, yeah, these cards, the first 17, you are pretty much going to get um, quite a few doubles of. I think that's guaranteed if you're going to collect with booster packs. That's mainly because, um, at least in the UK, um, each booster pack contains three cards. Now, one of those cards is guaranteed to be um, one of the first 17 specials. Um, so naturally, I mean, you're going to get... Um, quite a few kind of extras which is cool you know you can kind of sell them on or trade them for ones you don't have um, which is all part of the fun of collecting um, trading cards um, these ones are pretty cool I'll try and show you um, for those that don't know they are, they, they because they're special cards they have got a little bit of a kind of shiny shiny system I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up yeah a little bit if you look at his um his DJ set you can kind of see a bit of um, glittery pixelated sort of effect um, that's actually on every kind of special card you know some nice little touch um, makes them really kind of pretty to look at um, so yeah the first 17 uh, you're guaranteed to kind of get these quite easily um, like I said um, 
if you're, if you're going to try and buy them individually, um, they're not going to be too much um, cost-wise. Um, I, th I feel I should kind of um, speak a little bit about booster packs. Now, like I said, in the UK you get three cards. Um, if you're going to buy booster cards, booster packs rather, I would say get them from Amazon or the Nintendo main website. I'm sure there are a few other places, but that is the cheapest places to, um, to pick them up. Now, if you're going to start collecting Series Series 1, then I would suggest doing it as soon as possible. Um, simply because, you know, they're not going to be around forever. Um, they are, I, th I think, um, it, you know, if I can kind of um, predict the future of these, um, they will kind of be dis discontinued at some point. They have actually already kind of limited um, booster pack numbers um, on the web on the main website. So yeah, um, I think it's about five per customer at the moment. However, that's probably set to kind of um, get less, less and less over the time. Again, I'm only theorizing, but I think um, they're not going to um, they're not going to be available for much longer. So yeah, I think um, the best kind of way to do this, um, from my personal experience, is. Collect as many as you can with booster packs, you know, buy as many booster packs as you can um, whilst they're around. Um, then when you get to about 15, 15 more to go or so, uh, I, would, I would suggest kind of, A, either I, um, excuse me, my voice is terrible today. Um, yeah, I would suggest A, either kind of trading off your, your doubles um, for ones you haven't got, or B, selling them on and using the profits from that, um, yeah, to get the final few you need. Uh, you know, individual cards, they vary at the moment. Um, they range from about £2 um, for, the, like, um, for the specials and maybe some really common ones. Um, we're talking up to about £5 um, for, the, for the rarest ones. Again, um, uh, pu purely an estimation, but that's what I've kind of found. Uh, like I said, you know... Um, there are a few um, you should kind of look out for. There are a few kind of fan favorite characters that are going to cost you a bit more, just because they're in higher demand and um, there's not as many kind of available to buy. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll kind of point those out as we go along, and hopefully I'll give you kind of a, a rough idea, um, a rough idea of the ones you want to kind of pick up as soon as you can, just because they're going to not be around for much longer. Um, now I should I should kind of um, comment um, if you're in the UK. Um, naturally you're going to get three cards per pack. For some reason, and I'm kind of gutted by this, but um, the, Na the North American um, North American fans, they tend to get, I think, six, six, um, six cards per booster pack. Now I'm not sure why the variance between the UK and US, why it's happened that way. Um, they're actually a bit cheaper as well. I mean, six, six cards, I think is equivalent of about four pounds sterling. And I mean, seeing as we're getting like three cards for three pound fifty, three pound fifty, um, yeah, we've been kind of um, uh, we've got kind of the raw end of the deal there. I'm not sure why that is. I'm sure it's some kind of um, business move on Nintendo's part. I don't know, but I'm kind of gutted. Um, the um, if you're in North America as well, the um, I think the but the price for buying them individually is a lot cheaper as well. You know, well, it's, it's probably VAT and stuff. You know, we we Brits tend to um get things a lot more expensive unfortunately you know it's just um just the name of the game but it does kind of um make collecting an entire series you know a lot more kind of uh worthwhile and it's a lot more of an achievement i guess <laughs> that's the way i like to look at it you know positive and all that um glass half full bollocks um but anyway i digress um so yeah you've got the first 17 um now this one i should kind of um kind of mention this is actually one of the promo cards. Now, there are actually four promo cards available so far. Um, three of them, I'll show you a bit later, are actually available um, with the Amiibo Festival game. However, this one is a bit special in that it, um, it was only available with a Japanese uh, Japanese comic. Yeah, it was a children's uh, magazine in Japan called Characters Parfait. Now, this, um, you know, naturally, when the when the magazine goes out of production then this one would inevitably kind of stop production as well so there isn't many of these around um i mean you know you, you, a lot of people might um question why i decided to to get this one um you know i'm a perfectionist or rather a completionist when it comes to collecting stuff and um 
yeah, it was an investment. It would cost me about twenty twenty pounds sterling uh, to pick this one up. That was about a month or two ago. Um, you know, I mean, it's just all down to what, um, personal preference. I mean, if you don't want to collect the um, promos, um, that's fair enough. But personally, I think it's a nice, um, nice addition to the collection. So, and you know, I mean, within the, um, you know, a month or two of having this one, it's actually doubled in price. So, I mean, from an investment point of view, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's only going to go up and up. Um, naturally, of course, as soon, when they're kind of snapped up, there's going to be less and less in circulation. And yeah, um, personally, I think that was a good addition. Um, there are a few kind of Japanese sellers on eBay, I think, that are selling them. Uh, yeah, like I said, you are going to have to pay through nose for it, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, I mean, if you if you want to collect the series, then um, yeah, that's one of the four kind of super rare ones that you're going to want to look out for. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of cute. I think functionality-wise, um, I think it kind of unlocks a few um, extra items in um, Happy Home Designer, uh, a few exclusive items. I'm not sure if it works on um, outside of Japan, but you know, who knows. Um, yeah, another thing about functionality, I mean, I know I haven't got the other two games, but what I'm banking on is um, I'm really hoping that the next fully-fledged Animal Crossing game, you know, whether it comes out on 3DS or, um, or Wii U or um, their newest console, NX, which is going to be coming out. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that they're... Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. Oh, live TV, ladies and gentlemen. There's always things going wrong. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really hoping that in the next um, Animal Crossing game, these are going to be a, a big feature. Now, I think that kind of um, the natural step forward would be um, to use these in order to kind of invite certain animals to your town. I think that'd be an absolutely amazing kind of feature to, to add to the game. Because, of course, um, as of now, it's a very random process. Don't get me wrong, I, I like that, um, you know, you get random faces popping up in your town. But I think it'd also be nice, say, like, once a month, maybe, if you could just scan one of these cards and um, increase the chances of that villager coming along. Um, because, yeah, there are certain favourites that I would like to kind of um, bring into the next game. Um, and yeah, my, my town is actually called Wildwood. And, um, yeah, there are a few faces, especially in Series 2, that I would like to kind of... Um, see pop up again in the next game so I'm really hoping they're gonna I'm banking on that in fact because you know with this um with a full collection I'm kind of hoping I'm gonna have the choice to um kind of bring in certain faces to the game uh but yeah we'll see I mean that's that's my that's my hopes for it um so yeah you got the first um 17 uh promo card booyah um now Fauna I should point out Fauna she was quite hard to get for me um again I'm not sure if that's going to be a case, the case with everyone. I don't know what, what the American American market is like. Um, but yeah, I find her quite hard to get. Um, naturally, because you do only get three cards per pack here, um, I think there are going to be some that are a lot less available than others. Um, I've only seen her once, I think, um, and that's when I picked her up. Um, naturally, because I think a lot of the deer characters are actually... Um, really popular with people, so you're gonna have a bit of trouble um, finding a few of them. Um, Fauna was one of them. Uh, I think a lot of people like Fauna. I think she's um, and why not? She's adorable. Uh, so yeah, if you see her for sale uh, and you haven't got her yet, I would recommend kind of getting her individually, just because she might be a bit harder to get um, otherwise. So if you find an opportunity, then you know go for it. <laughs> Bob, um, I actually had Bob in my very first um, in the GameCube game. And yeah, he kind of became my BFF. He was, he was a cool character. Uh, I think a lot of people like Bob, actually. He's really laid back and, um, you know, a lot of the cat char char characters are, um, you know, firm favourites. Um, Kurt, I actually had. Uh, I think it was in Wild World. Now, a lot of the grumpy characters, um, they can take a while to kind of warm to. Uh, Kurt was one of those um, animals that when, you know, when he first kind of moved to my town, I was like, whoa, he looks cool. But, um, then he was all grumpy and stuff, and I was kind of um, wanting them to move out a little bit, you know, when um, you get characters that are like a bit of a downer, you know. Um, but, you know, the good thing about grumpy characters is it makes it more rewarding when, you know, um, you actually kind of uh, get to know them and you find out that they're, they've they got a heart of gold. Uh, Kurt was one of those characters. He's really cool. Uh, he may look mean, he's got like a big bandage on his head, but inside he's just like a big fluffy cuddly teddy bear. <laughs> Um, Cherry, I've seen quite a few of her around. I'm not sure if um, there's any particular reason for that, but she seems to be quite um, 
quite easy to get. Uh, Kyle's cool. I've never had him in any of my towns, but I always, I've always liked the look of him. I think he's like a, a, hy a hyena, perhaps? Or a, a spotted spotted wolf? I'm not sure. But yeah, he's cool. I've always wanted him. Um, another feature of these cards, um, for those that aren't familiar, um, again, this is the UK version, so it might be different um, ver in varying regions. But um, next to the name, you've also got um, um, the character's name in other kind of regions. So I think um, the four next to next to the character names in the UK edition are um, the European names in different European countries. Um, the UK, of course, in the US, um, the English-speaking uh, kind of versions uh, have got the same names. So you know, it's a lot easier to kind of look them up and such. You've also got um, a dice um, a dice icon on each card um, of varying varying numbers. Uh, you've also got like a paper rock scissors um, type icon. Now I think those are to do with um, Amiibo Festival, which is kind of like a, a board game sort of setup. Um, again, I don't know for sure. I've never played it, but I, yeah, I think that's to do with that. Uh, so yeah, that's got a nice little feature. Um, in top top left hand corner, you've got like a little icon basically showing what um, uh, what species the character is. Um, just in case you couldn't couldn't tell. <laughs> To be fair, there are a few that are androgynous. So. Um, androgynous? Uh, I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. You know what I mean. Um, you've also got their birth date at the bottom, and um, what's the word? Zodiac, um, astrological sign, which is a nice little touch, you know. What I really do wish, um, you know, in, in game when you um, uh, when you've known a character for a long time, they actually give you their kind of um, their portrait, their little picture, to kind of display in your house. I'm really, you know, take notes, Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you want to. Um, I think it'd be really cool if that in, on the back it had the little, um, the little like motto or saying um, that that you can read when um, when you click the, the icon itself, uh, the item. Um, uh, yeah, I think that'd be a really cool touch. But you know, that's just um. Sorry. Oh man, live TV. Okay. Uh, I don't think I know, really know any of these characters. Al, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the monkey, um, sorry, ape characters kind of creep me out. Look at his face. It reminds me of those like um, really weird toys, you know, those old fashioned toys you see in horror films with like the monkey and the symbols. And they always kind of go off on their own. It reminds me of that, with those like um, blank expression and freaky lips. Yeah. Creepy. Um, anyway. Uh, Jambet. Now I had Jambet in um um in New Leaf. Uh, <laughs> I actually had a friend around in my uh, a dear friend um, was visiting my town of Wildwood. Um, yeah, while well, well, I was playing New Leaf, and that was, it was the first time I actually saw Jambet. And personally, I find her really creepy. But um, yeah, my friend kind of she thought she was really cute. So you know, again, personal preference, tweaks her own. I think she liked her lips. She said they're lush. But, um, personally I think they're too big for her face. I'm not trying to criticise or anything, you know. I'm sure a lot of people like her. <laughs> no offence, Jean Betts, you know. <clears throat> uh, Rasher, yeah. I mean, I had Rasher in one of my towns and... I just didn't get on with him well too well, to be honest. Um, again, he's a grumpy character. Uh, but it, he just looks strange. He looks like he'd kind of stab you in the back with an axe as soon as you turn around, you know. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure he's one of the characters like I ended up like just smacking with a net every time I saw him, just so he'd kind of move out. Which is really mean. I wouldn't do that in real life, but you know. Um, as mayor, you know, it's, it's my duty to, to get rid of ruffians and ne'er-do-wells and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> make um, Wildwood a very pretty place to live. Ah, uh, poor, poor guy. Uh, you know, I recent judge, but, <clears throat> you know, it's a game. Um, Tiffany creeps me out, I'm not gonna lie. Look at her. I mean, Jesus. Is she wearing, like, suspender stockings or something? It's just... I'm guessing she's supposed to be gothic. There are quite a few gothic... I've noticed there are quite a few, few um, kind of gothic characters in-game. Um, I think she's one of them. She's got, like, the spider web. <clears throat> um, kind of dark, um, mysterious look going on, but... Yeah, she's a bit weird. Uh, Sheldon. Now, I'm thinking Sheldon is perhaps based on uh, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, Sheldon... Cooper is it? I think. I don't really watch it myself, but he's got that kind of look about him. I think a lot of these um, characters are actually named after kind of 
or rather they're kind of referencing referencing certain things. Um, Kiki, I th I can only assume that um, you know I'm a, I'm a huge Ghibli fan as well, and Kiki reminds me of um, Kiki's delivery service, of course, um, which is about a, a witch and she's got a black cat. So I think um, actually did yeah, the cat is called Gigi. Um, but I'm guessing Kiki is a reference to that. Um, yeah, Kiki's adorable. I like Kiki. I had her in one of my towns, and she was she was a real joy to be around. Um, Bill was actually um, he was actually the first character I got the um, picture from in the very first GameCube game. Uh, he was kind of my BFF in that game. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's really sweet. I like Bill. He's cool. I'm not a big fan of um, most of the jock kind of sporty jock characters, uh, but Bill's cool. I liked him. Uh, so yeah, he's he's one I'd like to kind of take into the next um, Animal Crossing game if I can. Now Kabuki, I think Kabuki is quite um, a fan favorite, so I would recommend perhaps picking him up if you can um, quite early on. Um, I think you'll find that with a lot of the kind of more unique characters, for um, looks wise. I mean Kabuki. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people like Kabuki, so I would pick him up if you could. Uh, apart from that, yeah. These ones weren't too hard to get hold of. I like Jitters. I think he's cool. He's got kind of a spaced out. Um, he's a bit of a strange character, but I really like him personally. I, I, I would, I would have him in my time. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Octavian. Yeah, you know, I had him in one of my towns, but I did not get on with him. He, again, he was another one of the ones that I kind of uh, smashed with the net whenever I saw him. He's got such an angry face. You know, some of them you can kind of get away with, you know, they're a bit gruff, a bit grumpy, but... My god. Come on, really? <laughs> I'm sure there are, he's got a lot of fans out there, but... Yeah, personally, he's a bit too angry for my taste. Even when he's happy, he looks like that. I mean... Do you want someone like that in your town? Just kind of, um... Uh, sullying up the place, you know, make, putting everyone in, into a diner, you know. Yeah, not for me, thanks. Um, Knox and Sterling. I'm really glad those two kind of came together. Um, right after each other because they kind of fit really well. I actually had both of these in um, in my New Leaf game and um, yeah I really liked it. They kind of um, complement each other really well. They're both kind of um, white knight characters and yeah kind of guardians of the um, wild wood type thing. <clears throat> but yeah I like them, they're cool. Um, Punchy, oh man Punchy was another BFF. I think it was um, Wild World. Yeah I had him in Wild World. He's adorable. I mean, look at him. <clears throat> he's one of the lazy characters, which are really cute to begin with. Um, I think his kind of catchphrase is like... Uh, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> which is really sweet. You know, he's, he's, yeah, he's a really cool character. Um, again, he wasn't, he wasn't hard to get, which is quite surprising. I'm pretty sure a lot of people like Punchy. I mean, how can you not? Look at him. Boop. Um, yeah, I think most of these are all okay. Snake. Again, I'm not a big fan of Snake. Um, I guess he's kind of a solid, solid Snake kind of character. I don't know. But personally, I think he's um, his face doesn't really match his personality. I mean, for someone called Snake, you think like um, you think a solid Snake from Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, and Snake Plissken from like the Escape from LA, Escape from New York um, films. They're kind of gruff and bush and stuff. But look at his face. Look at him. He looks like one of those like um, those slime characters from uh. Is it um, oh, Dragon Quest games? I think it's one of like the first um, enemies you you um you come across, and they look like that, like really kind of stupid look on their face. <laughs> yeah, not a big fan of Snake, but you know, whatever. Uh, Nate, I had him in one of my times. Um, not a big fan. Uh, he's a he's a lazy character, but I don't know. It's just something about him. It's just um, too lazy. He's a bit of a kind of layabout, just kind of um, cluttered up the place. I hate his eyebrows as well. Look at them. It's like a um, big green mono brow. Oh, I don't know, man. Personal preference. <laughs> Tutu's kind of cool. I like the big um, big heart on her t-shirt. Uh, again, none of these are really too hard to get hold of. Um, no. I had Bella in my time. She's another kind of um, edgy, punky character. She's kind of cool. Nobody really seems to like her. Um, from my experience, but personally, I think she's pretty awesome. I think Mint um, was she hard to get. I think she was quite hard to get. Um, whether that was just kind of um, luck of the draw, I don't know. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 
I've always wanted Lionel in my time. Look at him, he's a real dapper gent. I think he, he could um, fit him really well in Wildwood. So with my with my times, especially in um, New Leaf, um, I tend to go for a very natural kind of um, setting. Uh, of course, with a name like Wildwood, I mean, uh, Wild is actually um, it's always been my kind of username on the internet and stuff. So um, yeah, Wildwood just kind of seemed to fit. Um, and yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, I always have loads of trees, kind of, and loads of plants, kind of um, growing everywhere. <clears throat> it's a very kind of uh, sedate, nice little village. Um, yeah, I, I really hope they kind of um, develop the kind of town, town planning development um, type thing in the next game. Uh, maybe introduce kind of being able to place villager kind of houses. Um, because I think every Animal Crossing character uh, player knows the real frustration of you know when um, a character moves in and kind of messes up your landscape and you know right in the middle of a flower patch or gets rid of the trees that you needed or something. It's just really kind of annoying. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be another feature that they add to the um, to the next game. Uh, Roscoe again one of the grumpy characters I had. I seem to get a lot of grumpy characters. I mean don't get it wrong. I, I kind of um, they tend to be pretty cool, but yeah, I seem to get um, majority <clears throat> of grumpy ones. Um, yeah, Roscoe I had in Wild World again, I think. Um, again, he kind of grows on you. He's got a heart of gold, so. Um, Eugene kind of creeps me out. I don't know, man. It's just too too stylish. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit freaky. I suppose they didn't call him Elvis, to be honest. He's got a bit of an Elvis vibe to him. Um, but yeah, again, none of these. I think Cherry's quite easy to get. Um, there are quite a few of her around, last time I checked. Uh, again, all these are quite easy to get. <clears throat> uh, Bunny, I think, is quite a popular character, so um, if you're looking to get her, I get her quite early on. Clay was hard, quite hard for me, for, uh, quite hard for me to get actually. Um, I don't think there's any real reason for that. Uh, I don't think he's necessarily a fan favorite or anything. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. I would love to have him in my time, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I think it's just luck of the draw. Diana, again, she's a dear character, so I would keep an eye out for her. Um, Peanut. Um, I think Peanut was quite hard to get. I think she's, um, yeah, she's pretty popular. <laughs> Look at Cole. He's so cute. <laughs> He's a little, a little um, dazed expression. He's adorable. Um, but no, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, um, most of these were series one was actually quite easy. Um, I have had a bit of a hard time with series two. There are a lot more kind of um, favorites and a lot. Um, for some reason, they're a lot um, more sparse. Uh, again, I'll go, I'll go through it once I've kind of completed it. Hopefully, I'll complete it next month, so there will be another, another video coming. Um, but yeah, there are a few um, tricky ones in that series, so I will um, point those out. Now, you've got 99 and 100, um, you've always usually only got two, two left, um, sorry, two spaces filled in the final page. Um, this is a little kind of advertisement card I picked up, um, you know, just a nice little addition to the, to the collection. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm a completionist, so um, if I can get anything kind of rare or special to add to the, um, to the folders, then um, you can be sure I'll do that. Now, these final three at the bottom, um, you can tell they haven't, they haven't got a number, they've got like a little... Um, icon instead. Um, that is actually the Amiibo Festival um, icon, I believe. Um, yeah, and these three were actually only available with the purchase of Amiibo Festival, so it's worth getting these three. Even if you don't get the um, actual game, you can actually pick them up um, separately, I find. Um, I picked up all three for about um, about £10 sterling, uh, so not too expensive, not as expensive as um, you know, the Isabel promo. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a nice little collection. I don't know if um, I don't know if these three are going to be kind of um, included in any of the series. Um, Rosie, Stitches, and Goldie. I don't know if they're going to be they're going to have like normal cards in one of the series. You know, if not, then that's a nice little addition because um, this is the only way they'd be available. Um, again, functionality with regards to. Um, Happy Home Designer? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what they unlock. I guess um, you can unlock, you know, the opportunity to um, to design their homes, I'm guessing. 
Um, Stitches, you know, Stitches is always adorable. Everyone loves Stitches. He's so freaking cute. He's like a little stuffed um, teddy bear. And yeah, everyone seems to go crazy for him, giving him a, a lot of fan service. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Rosie, um, I think that's a nice addition f for a promo because um, she was actually um, featured in the Animal Crossing um, motion picture, which I think only came out in Japan, but um, I think you can look it up on YouTube and things and kind of watch that. It's, um, it's a nice little watch. So yeah, that's, those three kind of um, finished the series one. Uh, Again, it's nice to just kind of have them included. Um, this was a, a little sleeve I kind of got the um, Isabel promo in. Uh, again, nice little touch to have, nice little thing to have. Uh, it just kind of proves it's a genuine, genuine card, and yeah, something to kind of show the grandchildren when I pa inevitably pass these down. My grandchildren, I think I'm so freaking weird. Dad, uh, granddad, why did you collect these? Uh, the cute. <laughs> Though hopefully, um, you know, Animal Crossing like. 20 will be out but will be out by then and no I'll still, I'll still be avid fan still playing like Animal Crossing games and stuff in virtual reality hopefully so you can kind of wander around your town that'd be amazing <laughs> um but yeah um that is pretty much um series one um in the back you've always um always got a cute little like montage uh you know it's a really nice art style I like it um yeah it just kind of makes it a joy to collect these really um it's really nice to look at and you know, every once in a while, I kind of kind of get these out. Um, even if I can't use the functionality, I'll get them out and just kind of browse through. And yeah, it's a really nice thing to have. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking of collecting um, amiibo cards, then I would certainly say you know um, start as soon as possible, especially with series one. I mean, I'm sure some people along the line will kind of um, start selling their collections and stuff, and you might be able to pick up all hundred, you know, for um, for a lot of money. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, if you're thinking of doing it, then the best of luck to you. Um, if you, you know, if you need any advice or anything, or want my input on anything, then please do, you know, um, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, happy hunting, and I will hopefully be back with Series 2 um, very soon. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, good luck guys. Thank you so much. Bye! Ooh.